In this problem, we have to traverse a boundary tree in level order, but we have to do it in zigzag manner. So it's a natural extension of the simple level order traversal. So if you do level order traversal of this, we will first print 5, then 3 and 6 are at the next level, then we print 2 and 4 in this order, left, left to right. But here the difference is that, first you will start from this to this, so you go from left to right at the first level, then you are in this side. So you return from this side and first print 6, then 3. Now you reach this end, left end. So what you do in the next level, you traverse from left to right and you continue like this. So you can see this zigzag. So left to right everything, then right to left, left to right, right to left and so on. So I will just uh, give a brief recap of level order traversal. Uh, if you already know it, then it will be a quick revision for you. So in level order traversal, what we do in simple level order traversal, we keep a queue and we push the first node to it. So 5 is pushed here. Then we see how many nodes are at a given level. So previous level, we had one node and this is denoted by the size of this queue. So size I will write here below it. So now we are at next level. So this denotes, so just when we reach this level, the size of the queue denotes how many nodes were in the previous level. So we see that there are one, there was just one node. So we run a loop i equal to 0 to whatever is the size minus 1 that many times pop from the queue and why we are doing this loop because we need the info not just in one sequence like 5 3 6 2 4 but we need them in separate lists a list of lists where each list will hold nodes of a given level so when we come to a next level we should know how many nodes were in the previous level because we will be inserting in the same queue so it will grow so when we pop this element and we push its left and right to the queue so we will lose track of how many nodes were there in the queue before we started pushing nodes of next level that's why we add this loop and in this case it's just one so it will pop five so, so whenever we pop we push into a local vector or list in this case it will just pop one and it will check if it has left or right or both it will insert them in the queue so 5 is popped it has a left 3 so we will insert 3 into the queue it also has a right so we will insert 6 into the queue now this levels nodes we have inserted we come to next level so we see how many nodes are there in the queue there are two that means in the previous level two nodes were there so we will start pushing them one by one so for i equal to 0 and 1 whatever is the size this time size is 2 so it will run two times we will pop 3 and look at its left right push into the queue so 3 we popped so 6 is remaining 2 and 4 are pushed and then we also pop 6 we will do it 2 times since earlier we had 2 nodes now 2 and 4 are in the queue so we popped 3 and 6 so we put it in a new list now again uh, we come to the last level after the last level so these are holding the last level nodes so we pop 2 and there are no left right so we will not push it then we pop 4 and again there are no left right so we will not push anything now this queue is empty so we uh, return this call terminates this level order call and these are the results 5 3 6 and 2 4 so here what we need to do uh, first time we have to insert 5 next time how we will insert 6 and 3 so in this case you would say that uh, keep a reverse variable a boolean Initially you can set it to true and uh, when we are done with this loop outside it what we can do reverse equal to not of reverse so it will toggle between levels for one level it will be true for next it will become not of that that is false again it will become not of that that is true again and so on so let's see how we will do it let's say we are at some general level uh, let's call it C and deal for simplicity let's assume there are only two nodes in this and there are many more nodes above it it is just one level and it has some child uh, like uh, e f g h so i'm uh, just focusing on a generic level let's call it level l of the tree so uh, there are two possibilities this level we had either printed like c and d so this was the state of queue or the other possibility is that 
we had printed it in reverse order dc depending on whether this was before this level the we had we were in this side or this side so these are the two possibilities now if cd is the case that is from left to right then this should be printed in reverse order that is h g f e and in this case if dc that is we came from this side now we are in this side so we will print it in or push it into the list this level list in the order e f g h so i have written both the possibilities so in this case let's say you are using another q or dq in q you can only push in the end but in a dq you can push in the beginning as well as end so uh, so what here how we can achieve this so first we have to pop c so what we will do so how can we print these before e and f because first we will pop c and c has child e and f but these are coming in the end so what we can do here in this case we will pop an element and uh, we will have a dq let's call it dq in dq we can insert from both beginning and end and similarly remove also so in this dq we will push front whatever node is popped let's call it x x dot left then so dq dot push then dq dot push front x dot right and uh, we will do for all these nodes so what will happen so first we popped c so its left is e so this dq is empty so we pushed e push front or back does not matter for the first element next its right is f so we are always doing push front so f is pushed in front of it next element popped will be d so left of d is g so we push in front of everything then right is h so we push in front of everything so you can see now in this or uh, dq we have h g f and e whatever we required so we can simply append this dq to our original q so this q is just like this original level order traversal q and we will continue till q is not empty so whatever is the content of this dq append that into that q so this these two would have already been popped q would have become empty and then we add this to the q so this becomes the content of q before going to the next level and here what we can do again we can have a dq and dq dot d is popped first so what we can do in this case dq dot again push front and x dot right then x dot left here also we are using push front but here first we are pushing the right then left then right then left so how many elements these are for all the elements x in the queue it will do the same thing so first d is popped so right of d is h so h is pushed then left is g so g is pushed in front then next element popped will be c so its right is f and its left is e so this is the content of dq and the queue has become empty so we append this into the queue so queue now becomes this thing so we are taking care of both the cases so one of them will be reverse other one will be reverse equal to false so whatever we said here that we will keep a boolean reverse equal to false in the beginning and when we are done with one loop this for loop this denotes popping elements of one level so after that we will toggle it and in one of the cases we will do this thing left followed by right in other case we will do right followed by left and then append this dq to the q and we will continue till q is empty so this is very similar to normal level order traversal so let's write the code for this you can go through this example it's also similar to our example so we come in the first level from left so 3 then we come to the right side so next is 29 which is 20 and 9 and now we are in left side so we will traverse from left to right that is 15 and 7 so the base case is is that if root is empty or root is null then we have to return empty vector otherwise we have to return a vector of vector of int
and then we have a dq uh, so i think i made a mistake here so uh, this outer thing will also be uh, dq because q in c++ only support push operation and uh, it's pushed in the end and popped from the uh, front it does not support inserting uh, a iterable but dq supports insert function also where you can pass two iterators begin to end so you we already have this dq we will pass dq dot begin and the second iterator would be dq dot end so we are not using queues we are using just dq so let's keep a dq but we will call it q since uh, to keep it uh, similar to our normal level or traversal and q dot push back root and then uh, let's keep that reverse thing also bool reverse equal to true and while not q dot empty and then inside this what we do first thing we do is count just like normal level order traversal so q dot size and then we run the loop and what we will do uh, we will have a temporary vector which we have to insert in this vector of vectors so this internal vector will be a vector corresponding to a given level and this is the combined vector so each time we are creating a local vector and we are pushing into the bigger vector and we will also have this in internal dq which we are appending to the outer dq since it's a dq we will specify whether we want to pop from front or back so we are using it like a queue only only facility we wanted was this insert function other than that we are not using it for any other dq operation we are using it as a queue only so if reverse is true we will do something what we will do if it's reverse then we will first push left so you can do a rough work and convince yourself run through one example and you will get to know uh, in the reverse case first we will put left and then right and in the other case we will do the opposite and in this case it will be simply opposite first right then left and at the end of this loop which will denote one level so this denotes one level uh, what we do q dot insert in the outer queue we insert this is uh, in this queue from where to insert so this will be empty so end does not matter and from this iterable from where to where so we will insert everything dq dot begin 
dq dot end and then in the our final result this level is complete when this loop ends we are done with one level so we will insert all the nodes corresponding to that level like this to the outer result and we have to toggle the reverse this is very important one level done and for next level it will be negative of this not of reverse so it will toggle between true false true false and so on and finally we return result so this was not very different from normal level order traversal only thing is that we added this reverse logic to take care of that zigzag thing and this works for this case uh, let's try or let's submit if there is something wrong we will try some examples and this is accepted and you can see that it's uh, 0 millisecond that is we are right here uh, better than 100% of the accepted submissions so this seems to be an efficient solution although uh, you can see a lots of variation here